my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be cleaning and organizing my entire bathroom. I'm going to show a whole bunch of ideas of how to organize and all that type of stuff, so let's get started. I'm going to be cleaning and organizing all these cabinets over here. I'm going to be like figuring out this whole entire situation um, up here. There's way too much stuff out and I need to organize this. And then the last thing that I'll be doing is the shower. The last thing is this medicine cabinet over here that I also need to clean out. Hey everyone, it's the voice of Brianna here. So the first thing I'm doing is basically taking everything off the counter so I can pretty much like clean the countertop with my water and vinegar. Um, this water and vinegar is 50% water and 50% vinegar, so just half and half. So yeah, I'm just taking all the stuff off and then I'm gonna spray it down um, with my mixture. I just made it myself. And then I use a microfiber cloths. I used to use paper towel, but it wasted so much. So I definitely recommend using a microfiber cloth i have this pack of five so yeah i just used one of those to clean the counter last cleaning video someone commented that I use Windex even though I said water and vinegar I just can't get the label off of this bottle this bottle actually was Windex but I just poured my solution into this bottle but I cannot get the label off so if you guys have any ideas of how to get the label off please let me know in the comments down below now moving on to cleaning this mirror, I'm going to be using my same solution. I'm just going to be taking a different cloth. I just find it's like cleaner so I like to just take a new cloth and I just wipe it all down Now it's time to put the stuff back on the counter. So I usually keep most of the stuff that I use pretty much daily on the counter. I just find it's a lot more convenient. I'm trying to figure out where stuff goes. I didn't really know what to keep because I did find that it was a bit cluttered, but I did decide to keep most of the stuff on the counter. A lot of the stuff I did move in the cabinet, which was a good thing because I didn't really use it every single day. Like for example, I kept one cleanser on the counter, not like three. So that's just like a little tip to think about. I don't know why I started putting stuff on the counter and then moved to this, but basically what I'm doing is just changing the heads of my toothbrush. You're supposed to change the head of your toothbrush or change your toothbrush every three months. I think that's what the timeline is, but I'm just cleaning it, putting new heads in, and I'm also cleaning the platform that it sits on to charge. So I'm just cleaning the toothbrushes, and then after that, I'm gonna continue putting stuff back on the counter. These are some extra containers I had lying around my house. I pretty much use them and I use this one up here and then the rest of them I used for the cabinets. I'm just putting some like random stuff in this bin. So like makeup, stuff for my braces, like the toothpicks that go in between your braces. I think that's what they're called. Um, like floss, all that type of stuff. And I'm also refilling the Q-tips and my cotton pads. I did switch to reusable cotton pads, but some things I still do use the regular ones for. And yeah, I'm just organizing it, seeing what I wanna keep, what I want to maybe like get rid of. Okay guys, so I finished the countertop. This is basically what it looks like. I know there is a lot of stuff on the counter, but I do use this stuff every single day and it is pretty organized. I try to keep the stuff that I use the most. So this is like my skincare section. Now we're gonna move on to the cabinet underneath. I think that's probably gonna take the longest. 
By the way, guys, this is a before shot of what it looks like. It is incredibly messy. Um, look at how messy this is. This part is just making me go crazy and this part as well. So yeah, I'm gonna be organizing this. I have a few containers that I brought down. I have my label maker in case I wanna put labels on any of these bins. Hey guys, so I finally finished this section. I'm gonna go through it super quickly. Here I have sunscreen. I use my label maker to make some labels, but here I have sunscreen, and there I have floss, teeth care. Here I have self care stuff, so like nail polish and face masks and stuff like that. My face mask brushes still haven't came yet from that Amazon haul I was talking about. I'll link it down below if you wanna check it out. But yeah, I'm still waiting for those brushes to come in. Back there, I just have some makeup. Here, I just have some wipes, tissue, makeup wipes. I don't really use those anymore. I use reusable pads now. I don't really know what to do with those, so I just kept them there for right now. Now, this is probably like my favorite section because I feel like it's like the most organized. But here, I just have hair care. So I have my brother and I's hair care. So like shampoos, um, conditioner. I also have hairspray. Here I just have my flat iron, and then over there I have all body washes. I have a lot from Bath and Body Works, so I don't have to buy any more. Um, as you guys can see, I have like a lot. I have like eight things, and I also have some deodorant back there as well. Up here I hanged my loomphas, and then over here I just have shower caps, and then here is just body care, I'm pretty sure. I didn't put a label on it, but it's fine. But yeah, that's basically what it looks like. I'm super happy with it. I am now moving on to this cabinet that I don't really use a lot. It's kind of like the cleaning products. Okay guys, so I finished doing it this cabinet. It is really messy. The only thing is a lot of the supplies are super big and they can't really go anywhere else. I just put the label on. It actually makes like the biggest difference. It looks so much better now and I'm really happy that I put it on. So yeah, sometimes I put it on here and sometimes I put it on like the handle part. Okay, so I know I look like a mess and I said I was going to continue, but I'm actually going to go eat lunch now because it's already 1.42 and I don't want to have lunch too late. So I'm going to go eat lunch now. I have a feeling I'm going to have to finish this another day because I'm going to be going somewhere today. But yeah, for you guys, it's going to be the next clip. For me, it might be another day. I'm not too sure. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, um, it's day two now. For me, it's actually like a few days later. Today is July 16th and it's around like 10 a.m. So I got up a little bit earlier today, but that's actually really good because I need to get this done. And I've been procrastinating about it literally the entire week. I don't remember the last time I filmed clips of this video. I don't remember if it was like the 10th or whatever. Anyways, you guys probably don't even care. But today I'm gonna show you guys basically what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be finishing it up. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So this is the first section I'm gonna be cleaning today. I'm going to be cleaning these tiles. I don't really know how I'm gonna get the top. I'm not really gonna do the top. I'm just gonna be doing the sides around it, these three sides. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but like right over here, it's super dirty. And then I also need to clean like the corners. As you guys can see, it's like really disgusting. So yeah, I need to clean all that. And then I'm also gonna be cleaning the bottom as well. And then the second thing I'm going to be doing is cleaning out this cabinet. I just have a whole bunch of stuff here that I need to go through and just clean out. I have to do this one. This is the last thing I'm going to be doing today. So this is basically like our travel section. We have a whole bunch of like travel supplies, um, like bags, and just like a whole bunch of other stuff. So that's a mess. Got to clean all that up. As you can see, I am working on the medicine cabinet. I know it looked like I was wearing the same shirt from the last day, but I actually wasn't. It's actually different if you go back. But yeah, they're two different different shirts. Anyway, so I'm just going to continue doing this medicine cabinet. I finished the medicine cabinet. Um, I really only have like one medicine that I keep up there, but here I just have like a whole bunch of extra stuff. So I'm just going to go through it really quickly. I just have these two um, body lotions. These are teeth um, brush attachments, hair clips, extra skincare, extra eyelash curler things. They're for like your eyelash curler. Like they come with extra attachments, extra beauty blenders. And then here's just a whole bunch of like hair ties. And then just have band-aids up here. So I like to keep this pretty minimal. I don't want to keep, put too much stuff in it. So yeah, I think that is pretty much it for this cabinet. Now I'm going to be moving on to this cabinet. The first thing I'm going to do is basically take everything out and just put it on the floor, lay it out and just go through it all. And then once I finish that, I'm going to use the bins that I have and try to organize it from there. And I'm also gonna be using my label maker to label some of the bins.
I finished this section. I try to put on a little bit of light because it is kind of dark in this area. Like without light, it looks like this. It's kind of dark, so hopefully my ring light makes it a little bit better for you guys to be able to see what is in here. But I'm just going to go through it super quickly. Um, This section was actually kind of hard to do because it's kind of like a small cabinet. And the only reason why I don't really like our cabinets that much is because they don't have shelves here. So like all this extra space is empty. If there was a shelf here, that would make it so much better because then I could like add stuff up here. But anyways, I'm working with what I have. So in this little bin over here, I have travel bags. Next up, we have travel stuff. So like shampoos, lotions, conditioners conditioners, small toothpaste, floss, and all that type of stuff. Then I have a whole bunch of extra toothbrushes. Right here I just have medical things, so just like gauze, band-aids, and all that type of stuff. And then here's kind of like the random section. I didn't really know what to do because like it's all like a whole bunch of different things. So I know that part's not really that organized. That's basically what this section looks like. I'm actually super happy with like these four bins, but then like this kind of like upsets me over here, but it's okay. Like I want it to be practical and I don't just want to like throw out stuff that I'm actually going to use. Moving on to the last part, which is the shower. I'm going to be cleaning it um, and not really organizing it. There's not really anything to organize in here, but I really had to clean these tiles. They were super dirty. They weren't really dirty, but they just had like watermarks on them, which I wanted to get rid of. So I'm just using my same solution, water and vinegar, and then using a new microfiber cloth to wipe it off. And I'm also cleaning the bottom of the shower as well. So I finished the bathtub and the tiles. That was literally my least favorite part of like everything. Finishing the tiles, they actually look a lot better. Close up, you could really tell the difference. There's not any more like watermarks. And then I also cleaned like the hardware here and then the bottom I cleaned as well, as well as the corners. I am so tired. I just want to say a few little quick things here and there. If you guys are doing this to your bathroom or you're planning to do like an organization type of like project like I did today, um, a tip that I have for you guys is to use bins. They are super helpful to organize. And if you do have a label maker, those are also really helpful to use as well. But it was kind of pricey. So if you guys don't really want to spend that type of money on like a label maker, honestly, what I would do if I didn't have this label maker, what I would do is I basically just print out like a nice font or you can even write it out if you have like nice handwriting or if you just want to print it out and just put tape over it. And that'll basically be your label because labels are super helpful, even though it kind of might be like common sense, like, oh, you might see like toothpaste and it might be toothpaste inside. It just makes it a lot more organized and especially bins that you can't really see what's inside. That's really helpful. Is any empty space, don't think that you have to fill it because eventually you're going to fill it up with other products that you put in it later. So don't think that since you have empty space, you're going to have to fill it up. It's perfectly fine to have empty space. That's actually a good thing, not a bad thing. If you guys have any questions about today's video, you can let me know in the comments down below or on my Instagram. My Instagram and my TikTok will both be up on the screen and linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Press that red subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn that little notification bell on right beside the subscribe button. And that will basically notify you every single time I upload a new video because I don't want you guys to miss out. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and TikTok. As I already said, they're both linked down below. But I've been posting so much on both of them, especially my Instagram. Um, I post a whole bunch of stuff on my stories. I also update you guys on products that I use. And also let me know any other videos that you guys want to see. If you guys want to see like more cleaning videos, day in the life videos, cooking videos, baking videos, um, I don't know, like self care videos, any type of videos, let me know in the comments down below. I'd really appreciate it because it just lets me know what videos you guys want to see. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.